Today we get a husband and wife team of superstars to stop by our studio, but we are lucky today. Yes, TV, Broadway, and music powerhouses Colin Donnell and Patty Murn are here to chat about a lot of exciting things. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys! Hello. Oh, Thanks for having you guys are such a delight. Okay, let's talk about November. You win. We have a lot going on. So let's first start with this album, and I feel guilty saying it, but it's called Something, something Stupid. stupid. Okay, yeah. so like, tell us about this and who came up with the name. Oh well, you know, it, it really it's. An an eclectic mix of so many different types of music. Um, you know, rock, he tends more towards the rock, I tend more towards the musical theater and the pop. Um, and when we were coming up with album titles, we sing the song Something Stupid, which was famously sung by Frank and Nancy Sinatra. Um, and, you know, just, we're not, we're, we like to keep it light and a sense of humor about everything. And I was like, I think we have to call it Something Stupid. Why do I like, <laughs> want to ask them to sing right now? But I won't, but just so you know, I'm holding back. Yeah, and I'm I mean, we, we love that. We love the spirit of, of yeah. fun and all of these things. So let's yeah. chat favorite songs on the album. I'm sure each one of you has your favorite dish. Well, okay. When we were listening through to the album, I was listening in the car taking our daughter to school one morning and I got to Patty's song Everything Changes from Waitress that Sarah Bareilles wrote and I just started weeping <laughs> in the car. It's so it's such it's a, a beautiful, beautiful song. Tune. Yeah. It's such a beautiful song and she does it so well. So that is my favorite song on the album. Yeah, and mine is probably um, after he recorded House of the Rising Sun, he came up Upstairs and he was like, "That was so hard, and it's going to be terrible." And when I listened to it, I was like, "Oh my god, oh, wow. it's phenomenal! It's phenomenal!" It just it, it it shows a side of him that people don't ever get to hear and see, and it is just. It's unbelievable, um, and it's what the album opens with, I think, right? Yeah, it's our opening track. In the yeah. You guys are adorable. I think my <laughs> husband's home watching. We need to step it up. That's, yeah. all, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, Mind so you. you guys are recording. Like, like, do you take on different roles when you're in the studio? Like, you know what I mean? I always wonder about, like, you know, like real-life couples who work together. How does that work when you're well, working? Well, we did it in a really interesting way because we started recording the album and conceiving the album back during the pandemic when nothing could happen in person. So we actually uh, ended up doing our own vocals in our home in a little uh, yeah. vocal booth that we Sound have. Booth. That's yeah. really special. Um, but mm -hmm. when it, so when it came to the duets, we had to make sure that we were doing, th we had to do them one at a time. We sort of picked who was going to go first and then who was going <laughs> to sort of follow, like who was going to lead and like, and then who was going to come and record second and sort of match the first one. And I feel like that worked pretty well. Yeah, it was a pretty even split. Yeah. I generally try to defer to Patty as often as I can. <laughs> yeah. and good job. <laughs> so uh, on that note, both of you are extremely busy. Con, I know that you have a new show dropping on Peacock November 30th called Irreverent. You are the lead. Yes. Tell us about it. Uh, so I play, uh, thank you, uh, I play a uh, criminal from Chicago who winds up after a deal goes bad, he winds up impersonating a preacher in the far north of Queensland, Australia. Um, and hilarity ensues. I mean, it's a, it was a really uh, amazing show to shoot, and I think audiences are really going to enjoy it. And we actually got to be in Australia for about seven months oh while we goodness. shot it. Yes. So. The accents alone yes. must yes. be yes. And I, I got the I got the first few episodes. I will say it's incredible. And we want to also talk about your Hallmark movie yes. in Mary Measure. Yes. And I know so it's it's been released, but they're going to re-release it yeah. as well for the rest of our lives. That's a great thing about Hallmark. Yes. It, it plays every Christmas in July. It plays every every holiday season. But yes, it came out last Friday, but it will be on it's called in merry measure it will be on for the rest of this season as well um i just want to hang out with you too <laughs> <laughs> can we double date? Maybe Joelle and I? Know. All right, go te tease their album because you can see what that is. You know, well, you know what? The Colin Patty's new album, Something Stupid, is yeah. out on Friday. And you can also catch a Revan on Peacock November 30th. And make sure to visit hallmarkchannel.com to see when you can catch In Merry Measure this season. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it's been guys, a pleasure. You're the best. Thank All right, we'll be.